a blessing you don't know if it's through that child god is going to bless you hello guys good morning how are you all doing today i hope you all are well and you all are keeping safe wherever you are so um farm i have something to discuss with you guys this thing happened yesterday and i got back from work yesterday i wanted to film this video but i was so tired i did not have the time or the energy to do this particular video so what i'm going to talk about today is about a young lady that uh used her ignorance to take the life of a uh six month old baby yeah so that's what we are going to be discussing today i just want to uh give my own opinion uh, like you all know that everyone is entitled to his or her own opinion it, it's my opinion farm it's my opinion pardon me so if this is your first time of coming across my amazing channel you are highly welcome my name is patient known as iawo ola if you watch one two of my videos please don't forget to subscribe and turn on your post notification so you'll be the first person to know whenever i upload new videos and if you want to subscribe the subscribe button is just at the bottom of this video click on the red subscribe button and the notification bell so whenever i upload new videos you will be notified and to my amazing returning subscribers thank you all so much for keep coming back to support me i really appreciate all your love and your support and may god bless every one of you for me amen so fam um it's just a quick one i came across this picture yesterday trending everywhere on social media on gist lover i don't know if many of you know gist lover page that a young lady take the life of a six month or a, more, a newborn baby not really newborn but people are saying that it's six month old baby that she gave the baby tramadol before so that she can go to a party so according to what Gislova wrote, uh, let me read it out on under the picture of the girl because the girl was holding a babe, the baby in the picture and he wrote he or she wrote RYP on the picture and they said lady gives her son tramador so she can go party with her friends. This lady you see here committed an abomination last night in Likomba Tiko. Where is that Likomba Tiko? I don't know where that is. I don't think it's in Nigeria. Despite having a newborn baby of months old in hand, she wanted to go clubbing with friends. The innocent child was the only thing standing in her way as she could not take him to the club. So what did this girl do? She decided to give him tramador so he can fall deep asleep. This way she can go party with her friends. Hmm. She gave her the tramador and locked the baby inside the house. She returned home this morning only to find out the baby died as a result of the hard drug she gave him. Hmm. So he now said, he now moving forward that the in her uh, inhabitants they descended on on her and they beat her well and they now hand over her to the police so she's under detention at the moment so he now said that the soul of the innocent baby rest in peace so fam this is just my opinion like i said before <sighs> when i read this yesterday I was so devastated. I was so unhappy with myself because I'm a mother myself. I know the pain we mothers go through having kids and taking care of them. I know it's not easy. Even with single parents, it's not, it's not the talk of both our parents are together taking care of the children. It's not easy. We don't know the circumstances that surround this lady and the baby in particular we don't know what actually happened we don't know how she got pregnant and all that but the thing is she actually used her own hands to take the life of her child which is not a good thing it's a big sin in the sight of god it's not right to use your own hand to take uh, the life of a, a child you know what i see in this situation is that 
she, the baby is gone, is gone, and they have already buried the baby. And she too, she's gone because they are going to give her a lifetime imprisonment. She's not going to come out of it because it's a mother case. So what I just, I, when, when I read it yesterday, I was like, what could have happened that made her to, to, to give this child a tramador to drink or to eat or to take? And then just because she wants to go to a party, is that party going to run away? Party never go away. There is always party. There is always club every day. People are opening new clubs every day. So why risking your future for a, a club? That you want to go clubbing with your friends why risking your future because that child is actually her future she don't know if that child is the only child that she will have in her lifetime she don't know if she's going to have another child okay now you got pregnant fine good for you you got pregnant and you had that baby you go through all the pains everything that a pregnant woman will go through and you had that baby is a thing of joy is a blessing you don't know if it's true that child God is going to bless you. If the father of the child said that he doesn't want you anymore with the baby. You don't know the kind of uh, blessing that baby has brought into your life. I know it's not easy taking care of a child, especially when you're that young. But do you want to say that you don't? she doesn't have parents? She doesn't have family around her that will help her to take care of the child? So why would you give your child tramador to go to sleep and then you go to a party? Is the party or club going to run away? There's always time for you to go to club. There's always time for you to go to party. Even if you find it so, so like you're so selfish of yourself, you don't think about the child, you want to go to a club. Why can't you look for an elderly person around your neighborhood that you are, you are talking to, that you are close to, or your co-tenant that you can actually plead and say, please, can you help me look after my child overnight? I want to go to a party or club with my friends. No one is stopping you, but you should have, think about that. All those times that you are thinking that you should give your child tramador to they make him sleep and lock him inside you should have think also think about it that oh let me uh, let me look for someone that can actually take care of this child because if you actually do that to go out there and 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 look for someone that will mind your child for you you will come back from the club and you'll be happy seeing your, your baby alive and you will alive. You, you, you pick up from where you stopped. So why do you have to give your child a trauma door just because you want to go to a party? For me, I feel like she's so selfish that is, she did that out of a selfish uh, a desire. Like thinking about herself alone, she's not thinking about the baby that she had at hand. She's not thinking about that. and But she's supposed to think, she, she, she should have think that giving this child tramador might actually lead to some things. That child is too young to take tramador. Even if an adult takes tramador, is still going to affect the, the adult talk less of a child. And it's not even up to a year. I'm not sure about the, the, the month of the baby, but nevertheless, the child is gone, is gone. There's nothing anyone can do about it. But what I say in this is that She's so selfish. She's very, very selfish to do that. To do that because I don't know where club is running to. I don't know where it, it, you can always party anytime. You, I don't know why you can't look for someone that can mind that child for you. So it was so painful when I found out like yesterday. I was not myself. Even at work, I was just thinking about everything. I was just thinking like, how can a young lady like this do this thing to herself? Like, she have this blessing on the platter of gold. There are a lot of women out there that are looking for kids. They are looking for babies. They didn't see any. Some of them are doing surrogates. They are doing IVF and every other thing to have a child. And you have this on the platter of gold. You don't know the value of what you just lose. You don't know the kind of blessing that you just lose. You don't know. You don't know. It's so it's so so unfortunate that this have to happen this way, and this have to serve as a lesson to all other young mothers. If you know that you are not ready to have a child, 
please if you're having sex have it with protection if you don't want unwanted pregnancy you don't want to get pregnant at all you are not ready you are not mentally stable to have a child please when you're having sex have it with protection don't have it without protection because if you do you will get pregnant and you're ready to cater for that child because that child did not beg you or the father to bring them to this world it is both of you that did that thing and bring that child to this world look now she have take the innocent life of that child and that 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 child just go like that you know she did this out of ignorance she's so ignorant because as a mother seeing a child like that we are still crying over uh, davido's uh, uh, son that just, that died last year we're still crying more everybody's still mourning over that child because that he died out of ignorance people around him they were so ignorant of him like you know but I don't know. I don't know why some uh, young ladies don't think before they do things. They just do things out of their own selfish desire. And it is wrong. It is wrong. Please let this serve as a lesson to other young ladies. When you want to have sex, you don't want unwanted pregnancy. Please do this and have peace have sex with protection because if you do it without protection this is what that will lead to unwanted pregnancy and maybe by the time you tell the, the boyfriend that you were pregnant and he said he's not ready to have a child yet and then you'll be left with the pregnancy so you have to think before you do things like this so that's my own opinion if you're not ready mentally to have a child because taking care of a child carrying that child for nine months taking care of a child is not easy not be by beans that they take care of children i have three children myself and i know how it how how how, how i feel know how things are going it's not easy taking care of a child. So please, if you know that you're not ready to take care of a child, please don't bring that child to this world. It never even start life. It just take a, the, the child life like that. Ah, this is bad though. This is really bad. This is really... Wait thing. And you just take the life like that. It's unfair. This young ladies, you guys have to really sit up and think properly. And for the men, the boys, or if you know that you're not ready to settle down with a woman, also you to use protection so that the woman not go come come and say she get belay, and then you, at the end of the day you go say you not want picking. But if it can't happen, say the belay can't enter. If you come in to say you, you get belay, I beg or oh God, try me. You still support the child even though say you don't want to get anything to do with the mama at all you don't want to settle down with the mother but think about that child that is with that woman that is your blood try as much as possible to support that woman by taking care of that child that try it's it not easy blood they run through their vein they be human being as well you know i don't know the circumstances that surround this situation right now but nevertheless as we all heard and seen that she used her hand to take the life of her child you know every other every other circumstances that surrounded is nothing for me because no matter what you're going through you shouldn't have do that you shouldn't have used your own hands to take the life of your child today is pregnant you don't know what it's going to give birth to tomorrow if you didn't do this you don't know what this child is coming to do for you like you don't know what the child is going to become tomorrow you just take that that child's life just like that because of your own selfish desire anyway fam that's all i have to say and this is my own opinion please nobody should come for me let me know your thoughts in the comment section let me know how you guys think about this video and uh, please don't forget to share out my videos to your friends and family this is the end of the video i'll talk to you guys in my next video until then remain blessed i love you all bye